In this quickie demo, I'm going to show you how to use the Event Viewer. In Windows XP, to use the Event Viewer, you could click Start, Run, type in E V E N T V W R dot M S C Event V W R dot M S C and click OK. This is going to open up the event viewer. In the event viewer, you can look at logs of things that happen to your computer. So you can see here I have a warning at 524. I could get some information about the warning and it could help me solve some problems. Security. There's nothing going on there at this time. System. We have all kinds of different information. Let's see what this one says about the disk. That doesn't sound good. I may want to check it out. So as you can see, the event viewer can offer a lot of detail as to the problems that may arise on your computer. Some of the other things that you can do with the event viewer is you can right click and you can save the log file. This could be helpful if you need to email it to someone or um, send it to tech support. So we'll save this one just as application log. Now we see on our desktop that we have our file backed up. You can also clear all the events. You can get a warning to save it before you clear. So now it's all cleared so we can get a fresh look at any problems that may happen. We can look at the properties. We could overwrite events that are older than seven days. We could have it not override any event at all. So that way we could keep a good long log of what's going on. We could filter the type of uh, events that we see. If we don't want to see any information, we only want to see errors and warnings, we can select those and we can enter in all kinds of other information here. Another way to access the event viewer is clicking start, going to the control panel, switch to classic view, administrative tools, event viewer.